Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into a super cool motion design effect in Unreal Engine, where we'll make a mesh grow over another static mesh dynamically. If you enjoy this content, don't forget the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Let's go ahead and dive right in. To begin with, let's go ahead, um, for this you need to go to your settings, plugins, and you'll actually need to enable the motion design. It is experimental, um, doesn't recommend, uh, Epic doesn't recommend pushing pro uh, projects to production with experimental plugins. Um, but playing around with this, I haven't seen too many things that, um, too many issues with it, but go ahead and let's check this. Uh, we'll, it does want you to agree that you want to enable this plugin. We'll say yes, and then we'll go ahead and restart. Went ahead and restarted, and you'll see that now the motion design is checked. So we do have our motion design here. Let's go ahead and attach our content browser. Um, the other thing that we're going to do for this is grab a couple of things from. You can use any meshes that you want for this, um, but I'm going to go ahead and grab a few things from Quixel. So I'm going to go to Quixel Bridge. Um, I have a few things already selected here. Um, I'm going to do grass clumps. So I'm going to go ahead and add these. And that works. For this, I'm just going to use these grass clumps, um, but you can use multiple things. In fact, let's go ahead and add, let's go ahead and add these as well, just to have them and have multiple things in here. So we got our two um, things here. Let's see. Um, I just want to grab a mesh of some sort. Let's say uh, stump. And you can do this with any static mesh that you have. As you saw in the demo scene, we do it on a um, statue. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. Download. We'll add that to our thing here. And so I'm going to go ahead and drag my rotten tree stump out um, from here. I'm going to go back and grab these plants as well. And I'm just going to put these plants out in around this kind of area. Uh, select a few of these that you want. I'm only going to do three of these. Um, then we want to select all of these. And you can change the size to kind of whatever you want them to, however you want to pop up on your um, stump. So I want to do something like that. And we need to make them movable. Um, then we want to attach these to our rotten tree stump. Sorry, we don't want to attach them to the rotten tree stump. We want to go to selection mode. We'll go to motion design. And from here, let's go ahead and add our cloner. We'll just bring this out to the world. And again, with this cloner, we want to cover our tree stump. We want to uh, change the rotation back to normal. And we just want to make sure that everything is encompassed in this. So our tree stump is in here. Um, the next thing, now we'll grab all of these, all of your foliage, and we're going to attach these to the cloner. Uh, first, let's go ahead and delete this default cube. We no longer need that. That's being cloned multiple times there, but let's go ahead and grab these now. And you can either drag them or you can uh, say attach to and then grab your tree stump. So we'll do it this way. Oh, I did it again. Attach to the cloner, sorry. So now they're attached to the cloner. You see them spawning all around where the cloner is. Um, we don't want these to be in the grid pattern that you see there. 
we want them to be attached to a mesh. And the mesh that we want them attached to is going to be this tree stump. So now you see they're growing on the tree stump. And that's actually the basics of what you would need to do. Um, what you can see, though, is you're getting some kind of funky angles. But they're really not that bad. Um, so we're going to add a couple of effectors here to the scene. And so for this effector, we're going to change it from sphere to unbound. And we want the Y to be, if you see some of these are upside down and they're all kind of just funky on the normal of this tree. Um, so we're going to change that and we're going to, we can go negative 90 here. Um, then we'll go back to our cloner. And on our cloner, we're going to go to your effectors and hit the add. We'll add that effector in here. And that rotates everything so that it's coming off 90 degrees to the normal of the surface that it's spawning at. So it actually looks like it's kind of growing naturally. So that's the first tip that we want to do. Now in this cloner, here you can change how much it grows. Um, you can cover the whole thing however much you want. Just like that. So now it's kind of a fuzzy looking tree stump. We're going to add one more effector in here. Um, this is going to be the one that changes whether it's showing or not. So we'll say effector. This is our effector three. Let's change this to a plane. And with your easing, this is the effect that you get. So we're looking for um, something like. This ramp up, you can do in out quad and out court, something where um, it kind of changes, you know, in the box or the bigger part of the plane is what will be out and the smaller in. And you'll see what what that looks like as we do it. Um, but you you can get some different effects here. So if you do like out bounce, um, you would see a ramp up where it's high foliage, a little lower foliage and then kind of tapers off. Um, but we're just going to do in out cubic for this one. And for now, I'm going to leave all of this alone and we'll see what that looks like in here. Um, but you can see the size of it right here. And we'll change that momentarily. And inside of our cloner, we will add another effector and we're going to add that effector three. And then what's going to happen. When we grab that effector and we cover, um, in your effector three, go ahead and change the scale to uh, all zeros here. And what that'll do is that's what it'll give you. So you're kind of seeing that as it gets closer to here, this is the max that you're going to see. And this bigger plane is the min. So you'll start to see it grow like that. So what you can do here, um, you can change the angles of this. Let's go to like a 90. Um, so if you wanted to run this in a sequencer or a blueprint, you can kind of have it grow and look like it's growing from the top. If you see that. So that's the basics of how you do this. It doesn't have to be plant uh, meshes by any means. It doesn't have to be this. You could grow all kinds of stuff um, up this. Um, and one thing we can do just real quick, let's go ahead and add a level sequencer. Not going to do anything special here, but I am going to take my effector three and let's go ahead and put that in here. 
and let's add the transform. We'll start it where it's at here. Uh, let's add a camera. And then, so we'll change our camera here. Okay, and then for your effector for the transform, we want to leave it right where it's at for there. And then by the end of it, we want this to be kind of grown up. So then we'll add another key there. And then when we play this through, it looks like it's growing. And that's it. That's all you really have to do. And set up your scene. Put these in there. Uh, you might have to do multiple for different meshes. Because uh, you can only select, as far as I know, one mesh per. Uh, you can't add multiple meshes here. So you would need this similar effect with multiple meshes. Um, but with that being said, if you were to just duplicate this and you could duplicate the cloner, we'll get rid of these default cubes. And then on this mesh, we could simply, or sorry, on the new cloner, we could go ahead and grab this one instead. And let's see. We also need to duplicate all of the grass that's going to get cloned into it. We'll attach those to cloner three. And now you see that you have a couple static meshes here. So it's kind of that simple. Yeah, this one, because I duplicated it, it's still using that same um, effectors, the same effectors. So you could put multiple static meshes in and assign the same effectors and duplicate that, those same static meshes that you want to grow on them and kind of make it that simple. And that's going to wrap up this guide on creating a growing mesh effect in Unreal Engine. I hope this tutorial was helpful and sparked some creative ideas for your own project. Remember, if you have any questions or want to see more content like this, leave a comment below, like this video, and subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.